Cleveland is really rocking tonight. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony back in town this year, welcoming 16 new members in a night packed with one amazing moment after another. Thanks for joining us. I'm Caitlin McCarthy. Cleveland is the place to be tonight. The excitement is off the charts, not only for the salute to rock and roll, but also playoff baseball. The Cleveland Guardians battling the Yankees in another dramatic night for the crowd in this win or stay home game five. Michelle Nix has been out there with the fans from all over the country and the world. Michelle, what was it like? Good evening, Caitlin. Well, it's Destination Cleveland tonight, as you said, because people were either here for rock and roll or they were here for this playoff game with the Guardians and the Yankees. Now, the game's still tied at 2-2 in the eighth, and people just leaving the Rock Hall have a song in their heart. Go Guardians! The global spotlight shining brightly on Cleveland as thousands pour into the downtown dressed in everything from sequins to ball caps. And it feels like a really unique, unique time to be here because of all the sporting events that are going on and the induction ceremony and all of it happening so close together. Go Guardians! Woo! Proud Guardians fans pack Progressive Field to cheer on their hometown team in Game 5 of the playoffs against the Yankees, refusing to let this championship series go to the dogs. I just got one thing to say, Cleveland. Win this game. We can't let the Yankees celebrate in our stadium. Let's go. They've been an amazing team this year. I am so, so excited that they're here. <laughs> Others danced in the streets next door at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse to experience the concert of a lifetime at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductions. Emily Davis of Denver is a super fan of the Dave Matthews Band, and she's literally wearing their trademark from head to toe, including an arm tattoo with lyrics from a favorite song. So the energy here is just incredible to be a part of. Dave always says he has the same 35,000 fans. We just keep coming to all their shows, so it feels like this family, this community. One man from Painesville says one of the best parts of this experience is the musical talent on a global scale showcased right here in Cleveland. Seeing some of the best musicians ever assembled together in one place. A woman from Daytona here with a group of friends tells me Cleveland's atmosphere and hospitality is hitting all the right notes. It's my first time here, so we love it. Yeah, we're having a really great time. And then, now, after a great night, the Rock Hall inductions, for the most part, are in the history books. But here at Progressive Field, as you can see, still a packed house with Guardians fans and Yankees fans. The Guardians fans are on their seats because they are still tied at this point, and they're hoping that they can win this game and move on in the series. Reporting live in Cleveland, Michelle Nix, 19 News.